So what is voter suppression? It's actually part of the U.S. Legal Code, Title 18, Section 594, to be exact. By definition, voter suppression is any effort, either legal or illegal, by way of laws, administrative rules, or tactics that prevents eligible voters from registering to vote or voting. In practice, it's enforcing voter ID laws, closing polling places in certain neighborhoods, reducing hours, or purging registrations. These tactics disproportionately impact communities of color, and the elderly. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 tried to eliminate them, but in 2013, Supreme Court case Shelby County v. Holder rolled back a lot of these protections, especially in southern states. In a 5-4 to four decision, Chief Justice John Roberts wrote the law was based on, quote, decades-old data and eradicated practices, and that there was, quote, no longer such a disparity for communities of color. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg famously dissented, saying that's like, quote, throwing away your umbrella in a rainstorm because you are not getting wet. Since that decision, 25 states, many in the South, have put in place new voter restrictions like ID requirements and cutbacks in early voting. Now, here we are, less than five months until the next national election, and questions surround how our votes will be counted.